Hello and welcome to this Quicker tutorial. This is going to take you through your first few minutes of using Quicker so you understand all the basic concepts. Now once you've installed it you'll get to a screen that looks a lot like this. Uh, if you have a Quicker account use it, log in. If you don't that's fine you can still play with the app without creating an account. Just click this button right here. Great. Your screen now should look a little like this. Across the main top bar here we have the key functions of Quicker. On the bottom of the screen is the status bar where Quicker keeps you up to date with the work it's doing. Here we see all the libraries that we have, currently only one, and on the right hand side is some help and further information. As you add extra libraries they will appear in this section. Right now because we logged in with the guest account we just have what's called a guest library. This library is just one that you can play around with, you cannot sync it but for the purposes here it's absolutely fine. To open it double click. This is the main library screen. Here you will see all the PDFs that you have. On the left you'll have some ability to filter and search for PDFs and on the right you'll see some metadata about each PDF. Across the top bar here are the main functions that you can do with a library. Now the most important thing at the beginning is to get all your PDFs into a library. If you already have your PDFs in another reference manager we are able to import from a few of them. Here you can see the different applications that we can import from. If you already have an extensive library in another system definitely use this option to get going quickly. If you just have your PDFs on your hard drive that's fine too. You can drag them and drag and drop them into the application or you can browse to them using these functions here. Alternatively you can also add a watch folder so that if you mostly download your PDFs through a browser they will be automatically imported. I'm going to go ahead and add PDF documents and here is my folder that I normally download to. Uh, as you can see they're not named very well but that's absolutely fine. I'm going to click those six documents and you'll see that they'll automatically appear in Quicker. Even though they were badly named on the hard drive, they ha Quicker has looked at them, it has done some OCR and some metadata extraction and named them correctly. So for example this file here, we can see that here is its metadata regarding its title, authors and year. If this information is incorrect for any reason, click right here and you can edit it at will. For some documents you have, the metadata will not be able to be automatically extracted and that's absolutely fine. We have another option for that which I will show you now. I'm going to add a PDF here which does not have any metadata and show you what we call the BibTeX sniffer. BibTeX is a publishing standard that contains all the reference information about your documents, like its title, authors, journal name and publisher. Having this information is really useful within Quicker as it allows you to do very powerful searches and other functions. I'm going to launch the BibTeX sniffer now. And in this window you can see that it has contacted Google Scholar. All I need to do is highlight the title. It has found the document within Google Scholar and I can click import into BibTeX and we're done. Here you can see that the correct metadata information has been found and inserted. There are other screencasts regarding the BibTeX sniffer should you wish to see them. The key point is that you can populate your, your metadata within your library very quickly. The actual BibTeX is found here on the right hand side within the metadata section. On the right hand side next to the metadata section we have the annotation section for each document. Here we can set the stage of our reading, we can give it a rating, mark it as a favorite and add tags. In this case next to this page rank document I'm going to add the tag search and I'm going to add the tag web. Here I can add some, some comments.
I'm now going to add tags to multiple papers at the same time. I'm going to select just three, four papers, right click and choose this option. So here perhaps I know that they are also all related to search. You'll notice that the tags appear here within each document. Up here we can sort our documents within the library by various attributes. And on the left hand side is very powerful functionality for finding the documents that we actually want. So for example, we can tag search just for the tag search. Up here you will see how the library is being filtered. And we can add multiple filters here. So for example, if we want to search for the tag search and the author must be Johnson, There you will find the single document that matches both of those attributes. And we can continue to add other attributes as we like regarding publication, years, stage of reading, rating, that kind of thing. On the left hand side you can see the tags that we've added to this library and you can filter them by simply clicking. Hold down control to search by multiple tags. Click this button to clear all the search functionality so that we see the entire library. Quicker supports doing a global search through your entire library using this text box here. Not only does it support simple text queries like searching for an actual word, but there is a powerful syntax that you can understand by clicking this button that allows you to do advanced searches. Within the search results, you can see the relevancy rating, and if you click that button, you'll see exactly why it was given that rating. And that is also able to show you within context here, here are the word matches that I search for. Click this button to clear your search and see your entire library. To open a document, simply double click or indeed, click this button on the left. This is the document view. On the left hand side is information regarding the document, such as duplicates that may exist in your library, the keywords, the themes, citations, and Google Scholar information. On the right hand side is the metadata and annotations information we saw on the library screen for this particular document. In the middle is the PDF viewer itself. Across the top bar is key functionality related to viewing and annotating this PDF. Click these buttons to zoom to various levels and get an overview. Click this button to navigate to the sections of the document that have been automatically extracted or to any of the bookmarks that you might have added yourself. Click this button to go full screen. Use this text box to search the document. I'll be searching for the word page and the results are highlighted within the documents itself as well as within context of the sentence down here below. Double clicking a result automatically scrolls to that page. Use this button to add an annotation box. Which you can also tag. Use this button to edit that annotation. This is the highlighting button. You can choose your colors here. Use this button to select text. And you can use this button to cite this document within Word. Full details regarding the insight functionality is available in a dedicated screencast. Be sure to right click the document, there is some interesting functionality behind that right click as well. Now that you understand the basics of using Quicker for PDF management, I invite you to add as many documents as you can and populate their metadata correctly. This brings some of Quicker's more advanced functionality to life. Discover Quicker by simply exploring. Click the various buttons to understand their purpose. 
our website contains a good overview of all the functionality available and a link to a forum where you can discuss quicker with other users.